So today, what we're going to show you, we've got Katz Radashi in the building. We're going to show you how to rank number one with Reddit AI SEO. And this is basically a proven process. I'll share my screen in a second and show you exactly what I mean. Have you used much Reddit SEO? Um, I know that a lot of SEOs use it to spam, <laughs> spam their affiliate links and stuff. I use Reddit, but I just don't use it to, to rank at all. Um, like I, 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 there's there's like a few subreddits and stuff like that, that I take a look at, but not to actually rank. Yeah, it is an example. So this is the keyword best rapid website indexer. And you can see my subreddit is ranking number one on Google right here. And basically you can, this took about, I would say probably 30 minutes of work to, to rank with this sort of method. It's not about spamming and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So this is not about like spamming the internet with, with trashy AI content, but essentially it's a pretty simple and easy process. It took about 30 minutes of work took literally about 24 hours to rank step by step and I'm going to guide you through the process step by step today. So first place you want to start is with keyword research. I know you've just done a video on five keyword research methods today, right? Yeah. So for this actual example, let's say you wanted to rank for something like a website indexing tool. Let's say you're an affiliate for something like that, right? Or website indexer. What you can do is you can just go into Ahrefs like so, and you can use the free version of their keyword tool. They actually have a free version of their keyword research tool. But essentially by doing that, you can find a bunch of easy keywords with a low KD that you could rank for. For example, like the example that I showed previously is KD zero gets a decent amount of traffic. If you rank for that, are we going to make money with affiliate links or are we going to make money with any sort of tools that you own? Absolutely. So a pretty simple process in terms of the keyword research. Anything you would add to that? Um, no, I, th I, think, I think we're off to a good start. Like this, this is how I would do keyword research, e even for like my own website. If, I, if I'm looking to, to build out a new website, this is probably the, the go-to strategy. Yeah. So then that's stage number one, which is the keyword research. If you nail that, you're pretty much good to go. And then from here, you would actually just generate the content. Now, for this particular example, I actually use Autoblogging AI. And if you go to the godlike mode over here, do you, you still use Autoblogging AI, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so for example, if you put your keyword into here, like best rapid website indexer, you can plug in the source context. So let's say you want to recommend certain tools. You can plug that inside the source context. Do you usually use like key takeaways or YouTube video or external links? I don't. The the what the one thing that I do use it is the source context. I think that that's probably like one of the most important ones. Like making certain that, for example, if 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 there's an indexing tool like Casra Index, I would say recommend Casra Index at the top of the list. So some something along those lines, basically controlling the 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 narrative. Um, and that, that that's basically what what the source context says. So like, what's the outcome of this article? Do you want people to fill in a contact form? Do you want people to to click a button? Do you want people to add something to a cart? That that's essentially what I would be doing here. Yeah, that's it. So it's kind of more personalized to your business, and then also like with AI, otherwise it's just going to be generic trashy fluff, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if we put, for example, article title, best rapid website indexer, source context, recommend Casper's indexer at the top of the list, just as an example, obviously you wouldn't put that normally. You, you put whatever you're trying to recommend inside there and then hit search SERPs. I'm the same as you. I prefer to add like any sort of links manually myself, mm -hmm. same for YouTube videos, all that sort of thing. And what, what, then, what I found with the when when you do automatic YouTube videos, it, it kind of just drags in anybody's YouTube video, and it's like, well, hold on a minute, I've got my own YouTube channel with two, three hundred videos, so why are you dragging in somebody else's? Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like it, or it starts using outdated content that's already ranking on the first page of Google. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And so what it's going to do is search the SERPs. Might take like two or three minutes to do that. In the meantime. What we can do is, oh, there we go. So it's already loaded, so we can we can run through this. Now, if we look at these examples, what I would probably do in this particular example is just use the most relevant pieces of content that, that match the search terms. So, for example, best rapid website indexer, best search engine indexing tools. Let's keep scrolling down. Probably best indexes for backlinks. Those three pages look the most relevant to me. How about you? 
Yeah, I, 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 I would also agree. Like, if, if you guys are doing this for like a local business, let's say, you would probably want to like ignore um, directory websites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, stuff like that. You want to basically compare against like your competitors. Um, so always try to find websites that are similar to yours, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you can hit research SERPs. Basically, that's just going to reverse engineer the competition, create an outline, find the relevant semantic entities and LSIs, etc. that you can input, insert inside the, the content. If someone's watching this and they're not sure what an LSI is, essentially it's just like a, a long tail version of the keyword. So you've got the keywords right here, relevant keywords to include inside the content, entities, relevant entities to include inside the content, and you can add more keywords and that sort of thing. And then you can see inside the title as well, these are the headings throughout the content. And so, for example, one of the top H2s is, is what is Kazra's indexer? And then it would go on to, to talk about your indexer, Kazra. I'm 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 curious to see what this actually spits out because this is just a made up tool that that we've that we've came across. But um, yeah, like so far so good. Um, I, I quite like the the subheadings and stuff like that because that that would be typically something that that people would search. Like, um, what what is Casra's index or how how important is it to have your website indexed? The speed of it, the effectiveness, the cost. So it's going to be interesting to see what it comes back with. Yeah, I think we won't actually generate the article, but just to show people how you can use this. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see, if you check out my free course, links inside the comments and description, you'll see loads of ways of, of creating the content. But this is just probably one of the fastest and easiest ways to do it. And then what you do is just hit generate article, make sure you've edited the outline to, to remove anything irrelevant or to tweak anything that you want. And that's pretty much it. Now, before you publish the content on Reddit, obviously we talked about avoiding spamming the internet previously. So I would use normally a checklist like this, and this just cuts out all the spam, right? So for example, when you're editing your content, AI hallucinates, comes up with all sorts of nonsense. It, it says all sorts of random stuff that it probably shouldn't. And so you can use this step-by-step -step checklist, which I'll include inside my free SEO course that just runs you through exactly how to, to edit the content before you actually publish it. Anything else you would add to that? No, I, th I think you make a good point. Like AI, um, even even like for example, if you were to go onto like ChatGPT, right? If you told it to like write you an article on, I don't know, like the best lawyers in New York, it will definitely get f certain things wrong. So it's always good to have like a checklist to make certain that you're fact checking everything that the AI is spitting out. Um, because in, in, in a lot of cases, it doesn't know the answer to everything and it will just spit out random f random facts, as I like to call it, and it's just not the case. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll always fact-check your content before uploading it. Yeah, and I think as well, like, if you if you broke this down into, like, the separate steps, you know, the keyword research, for example, and I said this whole process takes about 30 minutes, the keyword research probably took me about one minute. The... Mm content generation probably took me about a minute too. the actual editing the content is where the magic happens and that can take you know anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes that's that's where you want to spend most of your time here yeah definitely and then the final step is just posted it in my subreddit now it's free for anyone to create a subreddit is you know what i'd recommend is if you're creating these sort of subreddits you want to make sure that it's relevant to the topic that you're publishing and then essentially all I did right here was just create a new post, put the keyword in the title, put the content inside the content uh, section right here, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, the, the the one good thing about Reddit at the minute is Google seems to prefer it. Um, so, if say for example you do have like a subreddit um, and. Let's say it's a subreddit about cameras, um, and you've got I don't know three, four thousand people inside that subreddit, and you've, it's an active subreddit. I can only see that being a positive thing as well. Um, if it's an active subreddit, if if people are upvoting your your posts and stuff like that as well, like obviously you didn't need to worry about any of that, but um, that that is another thing to 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 bear in mind. If if you guys do have active subreddits. I think I think you should probably be taking advantage of it um, at the minute because Reddit is on a massive yeah. There it just is just outrageous, there. isn't it? 
Um, They're getting towards a billion traffic. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And they're on an upwards trajectory too. So, I mean, you could use the same process on your website as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be that you you create this content on Reddit. That's just a case study example of this particular process. But yeah, it could be on your subreddit, it could be on your, your website, it could be on LinkedIn, etc. But you can see how much traffic this website is generating. The trajectory is absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the SAP from today and the step-by-step -step process I've broken down along with the transcript, the prompts, etc., feel free to get that. Links inside the comments and description, and that comes with a free SEO course. But if you go to the SEO system section and then Reddit AI SEO, you find the process right there. Just want to emphasize here, this is not about spamming or just you know chucking loads of trash onto the internet. We're actually having a, a quality control process right here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then also we have this free book a call link right here. So if you want to get a one-to-one -one SEO strategy session to get more leads, traffic, and sales with SEO, feel free to book that. And links in the comments and description. And on this one-to-one -one call, you get a free SEO domination plan. Discover the secrets of link building. Or answer any questions you have. And it's a very simple and straightforward process, but it will help you massively. And you don't need to pay thousands of dollars for SEO consultants. Cheers, Kazra. Thanks for having me. Cheers and bye-bye.